we were hoping to actually address a clinical need. A research breakthrough in treating heart defects at Montreal St. Justin Hospital, where 3D printers are being used to make heart valves in an hour. PhD student Armand Jafari and principal investigator Dr. Uman Savoji are behind the new technology that could potentially add years to a child's life. If this can be implanted in a person and that person can live a couple, even a couple of years more in a good condition, that, that's really what excites me. This valve that we actually uh, created or fabricated can grow with uh, patients or children during their lifetime. And uh, another thing is that the bodies uh, itself can remodel the valve and can make their own uh, cells, can make their own home. I have made this composite uh, ink, which is a mixture of different polymers, then here we can put it inside the printer, and then we have the software where we have a design of a valve, and then using this machine in a layer-by-layer -layer manner, uh, we print a 3D structure. Damaged heart valves are usually replaced with mechanical valves or ones from animals, but researchers say that comes with risks. You grow relatively fast until you get to the adulthood uh, and over time, so you, you are growing, your heart is growing, and your heart valve is also uh, should grow. But when you replace your heart valve with the current option, there is this problem that uh, the valve uh, cannot grow with the, uh, the child. They have to do multiple surgery during their lifespan. Uh, so this is very in invasive procedure. Around uh, one year to two years, we're going to f finish the anim medium-sized animal studies. And then uh, we apply for more funding to do large animal studies in the next three to five years. So probably in the next five years, we will finish the preclinical testing in animals. And then and hopefully, once we have everything, we have to file for uh, regulatory uh, approval. St. Justin doctors say currently some 90 patients receive synthetic valves at their hospital each year. Armand saying his research may even have other uses. With the 3D printing, uh, the sky is the limit. If there is a burn patient, maybe you can use the same ink. And if you test it, maybe you can use it as a skin patch to help the patient to recover faster. It can be for muscle, for example, if you change it a little bit. Yes, so we can say there are, there could be potentials for it. In Montreal, Anastasia Dextreen, City News.